Hey guys, it's me, Desiree Marie. Welcome yet to <laughs> Welcome to yet another video. Welcome if you are here, new for the very first time. I'm Desiree Marie and I do lock videos. I talk mainly about locks, lock hair care, lock styling. I bring you guys along with me as I wash, style, and maintain my hair. I pretty much bring you guys in the shower as I wash my hair. And as you see what a genuine, authentic lock journey looks like, I've had my locks for about two years now. So if you're interested in seeing more from me, I pretty much upload every day definitely do hit the subscribe button and you know become a part of the crew but welcome back crew members who are my subbies we're gonna talk about locks which is pretty much our favorite topic here but this can pretty much spread across to anyone whether you're locked you're relaxed or you just you know you have loose natural hair these are reasons why your hair may not be growing and um, granted there are many many reasons why but these are some reasons that I've collected together and wanted to share with you guys why you may be experiencing difficulty growing your locks to its fullest potential growing your natural hair to its fullest potential growing your relaxed hair to its fullest potential these are reasons why your hair has stunted and it's no longer growing let's get on into it so the first reason why your locks may not be growing is because you're not washing them you're not washing your hair you're afraid of water and I think that's a big myth that a lot of people need to just bust I've hear I've heard a lot of you guys telling me that um, you know you go to a loctician and you get your hair started and um, the loctician tells you oh you can't wash until like three months later and that is a big lie you need to wash your hair first of all locks lock because of washing hair because of water because of the shampoo and the way that it causes our hair to shrink and you know shrink up locks need that in order to develop into mature beautifully growing locks um, so when you hide from washing your hair you're actually doing your hair a big injustice First of all, you need a clean scalp in order to grow healthy hair. When you're not cleaning your scalp, you have dirty hair. And a lot of people think that hair grows when it's dirty. And I think that's a big lie as well. That's a big lie that I've um, been told a lot years ago. Oh, dirty hair grows better, so don't wash your hair as often. Not true, not true at all. Make sure that you're doing what's best for you and your scalp, which is washing it you know whenever you see that your hair is getting dirty or just needs a good refreshing wash it don't be afraid to wet your hair don't be afraid to wash it because your locks actually mature a lot better when it's washed and it folds out and it just looks more beautiful and healthy more vibrant and just flexible it's not stiff and hard and dry um, the same goes for natural loose natural hair girls and relaxed girls I mean y'all y'all can't really relate too much with that because you you're afraid of wetting your hair too much um, but I'm telling you washing your hair leads to a clean scalp which leads to healthy hair growth and faster hair growth as well remember your hair is like a plant so as many times as you wet it and you water it you're allowing for it to grow you're allowing for your hair to have the perfect soil and foundation by which it will grow very well um, from <laughs> hope that makes sense another reason why your hair might not be growing is you are washing with a drying shampoo a shampoo that does not help boost moisture into your hair it's actually stripping your hair dry um, a lot of us who have locks we wash our hair and then we put oils we don't you know we kind of skip the conditioning process but I think that we should really and truly put the conditioning process with the shampoo process um, so if you're not into conditioning get yourself a conditioning shampoo and in that way you're not stripping your hair dry of all its oils and all its moisture and vitality you're actually helping your hair as it's being washed and then that contributes to the perfect foundation that you can then put oils on top of but when you strip your hair dry you know using these drying shampoos with sulfate you're actually drying out your hair and then the oils that you put on top of that don't really help 
you know seal moisture because there's no moisture to seal it's just oils sitting on top of your hair so do try your best to find a good conditioning shampoo one that I highly recommend is the one that I use which is called bro and it is a conditioning shampoo with the ingredient beer which is like an ancient secret that um, you know secret ingredient that many people used to use on their hair in order to make it look beautiful and luxurious and silky and shiny um, I believe the same is true even for this shampoo that I use on my hair it is not super drying it's actually helping my hair and the fact that I know I have high porosity hair really helps me because with that hair porosity you really need moisture in everything you don't have time to be stripping moisture out you need to be putting moisture back and letting it be like a you know a, a process that reciprocates if you know what I'm saying <laughs> Another reason why your hair may not be growing is you are using too much dye. Guys, when you're dyeing your hair, especially when you go up, when you when you dye your hair to say blonde, um, you're actually taking away from the porosity of your hair. You're actually causing holes to be formed in your hair porosity, which then leads to hair that is super drying. And that's why you always have to keep on top of conditioning your hair because after, after dyeing your hair, your hair strands are left open and exposed and they it, it doesn't hold moisture as good as it used to. So when you dye your hair and you over dye it, you're actually causing holes in the hair porosity and you're damaging it. And so now what you deal with is dry hair that is super, um, um, like it, it absorbs moisture too fast and leaks moisture you end up with dry hair at the end of the day no matter how hard you try to condition your hair or keep it moist it still dries out it's also damaging to your hair so I would highly recommend that you don't over dye your hair yes we all love a cool new color I love color look I love color but the thing that has kept me from coloring my locks since starting my hair is the fact that I really want to embrace my hair as it is um, and also I want to keep it in its most healthiest organic and you know it's 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 most organic state which is the state in which you know it grows out of my scalp from it that doesn't make sense does it <laughs> I want to keep my hair just the same as it is um, just coming out of my scalp without any extra ingredients or additives that cause harm to my hair. Um, but I know a lot of people love dyes, so try not to over dye your hair. <laughs> try not to strip your hair so much by adding blonde and then all these high level colors that really detract from your hair. Um, this can also be the reason why your, your hair is not growing because you're drying the hair out that you, are, you already have and it's really hard to keep it moisturized. Hair that grows is hair that's moisturized and kept in its balanced state. Dyes kind of throw your hair off balance and it just does a lot to your hair strand. It causes a lot of trauma. So kind of eliminate that and not do it so much. Um, everything in moderation, you know what I'm saying? We all love our cool colors and stuff. But everything in moderation, especially if you want to keep healthy growing locks. Another reason why your hair may not be growing is you are using all the products. Look, here on this channel, I always encourage you to try what works for your hair try something you know and I always encourage you guys to step out of the box and try something different but sometimes we could take that and run with it and try all the products all the products that the loose naturals use all those products that we know is not the best for our hair locks are not able to like there are certain products that we cannot use that people with loose natural use hair use um, like the curl enhancing smoothie by Shea Moisture, the Cantu um, custards and all of that stuff. We can't use that obviously because we have locks. <laughs> so by using all the products you're actually causing damage to your hair by using so many things that stick in your hair. Then you deal with build up issues 
then you have weak spots in your hair because of the buildup issues and it just it just spirals out of control so try not to use all the products use what you think will help your hair but don't use the same things that you used to use when you were loose natural because it just won't work the same way if you know what I'm saying another reason why your hair may not be growing to its fullest potential is that you are cutting the frizzy hairs of your locks I know that in the beginning stages of having locks you deal with a lot of frizziness it's natural and we all have to deal with it but those frizzy hairs really and truly have a lot to do with how full and beautiful and healthy your hair looks when you decide that you would cut those hairs or wrap it around the lock you're actually causing damage because you are actually weakening that lock by cutting it by wrapping it you know tightly around your lock just so that you won't have a frizzy lock that's doing more damage to your hair and I would highly suggest that if you're doing that today stop allow your hair to frizz out because it's actually becoming fuller and you're going to thank yourself later that you did not mess with the lock um, and mess with the frizzies because the frizzies have a lot to do with the development of your maturing lock. Another reason why your hair may not be growing to its fullest potential. I mean your hair can still grow when you do this but it's not going to grow into its fullest potential is that you are retwisting way too much guys if you're retwisting like every week stop it sis like don't do that <laughs> because you're actually twisting it twisting it and causing so much trauma to the lock that it doesn't have the time to fill out before you already twist it up again and therefore you cause weak spots you cause your roots to thin out so you don't want to retwist too much believe me I've seen some bad examples of people just walking around people that have retwisted their hair way too much so allow your hair some time you know be between in between retwists to actually fill out and mature and grow before you then decide to go ahead and turn it again you know so that's pretty much it that's all I've got those are the reasons why your hair may you know your hair may not be growing to its fullest potential it may not be growing and it may be stunted so if you have found yourself in any of these reasons please I beg <laughs> Take the time to snap back and implement something healthier into your day-to-day -day lock routine. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Definitely do subscribe for many more lock videos and comment down below if you have any extra um, tips for anyone that is struggling with locks or if you have found yourself doing any of these um, things that have stunted your lock growth let us know down below let's be transparent and share but anyway guys thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next upload later